Whoever is a little one, let him come to me. In these words of scripture, I found at last my little way to become a saint. It's 10 minutes to six. I need someone to take me into the refectory for dinner. Well, sister, let me help you. I have no need to climb to the height of the great saints. Here, sister. But I just have to be myself, a little child. Now, be careful. Yes, sister. Gently, gently, you're pulling on me. Sorry, sister. Um, let me try this. <clears throat> That's too rough. Oh. Oh. Give me your arm. I'm not made of wood, you know. But come on. Let's go. One winter night, as I performed my ordinary duties, I heard music playing and imagined a ballroom filled with elegantly dressed young ladies conversing together and conferring upon each other all sorts of compliments and other worldly remarks. Stop! You're going too fast. I have to catch my breath. I'll be more gentle, sister. But the music I heard playing was the music in my heart. And I would not have exchanged 10 minutes of humble charity to enjoy a thousand years of worldly dances or feasts. Well, what in the world are you staring at? Get moving, child. Sorry, sister. That night, I felt such love that I could not possibly have done better had I been guiding Jesus himself. Why, thank you, Sister Therese. Thank you, my child. You are so good to this old woman. been looking all over for you. Oh, Sister, it's so good to see you. Could you help me lift this? Sister Vincent needs these in the kitchen. <coughs> you certainly don't seem to have much stamina. What would I have done if you hadn't come along? you tell me, Sister Therese, what attracts you so much towards me? Every time I look at you, I see you smile. I'm smiling because I'm, I'm happy to see you. 